Hey YouTubers, it's uh, Marcus 646464. I've got one of these Dyson uh, vacuums that um, uh, not so long ago it started doing, uh, I would hit the trigger and it would spin for a little bit and then just stop spinning, but of course continue on uh, suctioning. So uh, I did a bunch of uh, tests on it. I um, took it apart uh, here. Uh, and stuck a continuity tester on those two on those two uh, prongs uh, and everything was fine in the motor head down that way I uh, worked my way back along the wand stuck a little uh, a wire that, that connected uh, those two holes there basically uh, put a little wire that went around the corner and then checked the continuity of the wand and it was fine as well and then I cleaned up all the connections, as you probably have seen on some of the other videos, um, within the motor's uh, head itself, and still the same problem. So I decided I was I needed really to take apart uh, the the head itself and uh, see uh, if we could fix it. Now you can tell by uh, looking at it that I actually did fix it. So we're gonna go back in time, and um, I'll show you uh, how I. I thought, well, I'm going to take the power head apart and see what we can find. And um, so I won't go into most of the parts pretty easy. You know how everyone knows how to take this piece off. Everyone knows how to take the little thing off the end here. Pull out the thing. Pull out the uh, power head itself. And uh, all I did was I just started taking out all the different uh, little um, T8 uh, uh, screws. So there's one, two, three, four five six seven and then it's simply a matter of just pulling it apart um, you do have to pry a little bit back there but once you've got all of those off this will just pop right out so I'm going to put this over here for a second see if we can get that someplace okay and this just pops off like so comes apart and that's what it looks like from the top down. There's a uh, little motor there. And uh, over on the far side here, you can see that uh, it's got a little belt in there. So the reason why I had to take it apart is because my T8, uh, well, part of it is I wanted to take it apart to clean the whole thing out and make sure that that's not the problem. But my T8 screwdriver, my T8 uh, screwdriver won't fit down there with everything on it. So I'm hoping I can get in there uh, now with most of this stuff off. So I'll stop the video now and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, in the end you can see that I had to take my, uh, my uh, T8 uh, multi-tool multi here apart, take all the little pieces, get the one that I needed and uh, I'm going to stick it in the end down here. There's a T8 at the bottom of that uh, that little spindle there and uh, so I'm going to take that off and um, uh, hopefully there'll be uh, some junk under that I can clean out and we'll be done with it. All right so now I saw you the problem. The first time I was doing it I was actually prying here. Uh, you can't really see it there. I was prying down here you don't want to do that, you want to pry inside and down here. So, I've got this underneath now. I'm just going to give it a little pull. And off it comes. Now, ha ha! Look at that! A big chunk of hair. So, I'm going to clean the rest of that out. There's still way more in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, I'm going to clean that out, put it all back together again, and I'll let you know how it goes. Hey, it's the moment of truth. I put it all back together again. Let's see if the power head works. <laughs> it does! Awesome! So all it was, guys, was this big chunk 
of hair. It doesn't really show it too good against that black. I'll move it. Big chunk of black hair, probably from our cats, sitting inside that one little bit. Now, having uh, having uh, said all that, I think, you know, I probably didn't need to take all this stuff off if I would, was able to get in down underneath here with a with a screwdriver and just take that one screw out that I was showing you and pull the that little spindle off you probably could uh, save yourself a bit of a bit of time and trouble but um, anyway now you get to see what it looks like inside and uh, I've cleaned it all out inside as well and hey I'm pretty happy all right thanks a lot and uh, if this uh, video helped you out uh, like my uh, like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel it would really help Thanks.